Since I first put up my How to Use Tumblr video in September, there's been an amazing response, and I wanted to give a big thanks to everyone who's watched and commented. I hope it's been useful to you. That said, a couple of people have asked questions that I felt deserved a little bit more elaboration than I could give in the comments. Our first question comes from Hibari9420, who asked, Can I post a YouTube video? But I want it to be in the middle of an article. This is a situation where Tumblr's separation of post types by media actually makes things more complicated than they need to be. Go to the watch page of the YouTube video you want and press the Embed button. This will bring up a box with the embedding HTML code and some various options for the size you want it to be. I'll just leave it at the default setting and copy the code. In Tumblr, create a text post. I'm going to give this one a title and put some text in the post that I want above and below the video. Now press the HTML button in the toolbar. This will allow you to edit the HTML source code of the blog post. HTML, or Hypertext Markup Language, is the language of the web. It's these bracket tags that determine how the text in the post will be formatted. The P tag just separates these two sentences into two paragraphs. Since we want the YouTube video to go in between the paragraphs, I'm going to paste the embed code here. Press Update and that will bring you back to the edit screen, and if you did it right, that will show the video. Just to make sure though, press the Preview button and make sure it's formatted how you want it to be. Our next question comes from the Devo one who asks, Can I use CSS and HTML formatting for the layout and themes on Tumblr? Absolutely. In the last question, I showed you how to edit the HTML for a single post. But if you want to edit the theme itself, go to the Customize screen and select Theme. Press the Use Custom HTML button at the bottom. That will bring up the source of the theme, which you can edit. Press the Theme Docs button for additional info and documentation. The last question comes from XX, who asks, how do you write on someone else's Tumblr page? There's actually a bunch of ways that you can write on someone else's Tumblr blog, but almost all of them require the person who owns the blog to change some kind of permission first. You'll need to see if they've turned on any of the following Tumblr features. Option number one is to let people submit posts. This option means that someone other than the owner of the Tumblr blog can submit a post. The owner of the blog needs to check let people submit posts in the community menu of the customized screen. Then visitors can just go to that URL slash submit to write a post. The blog owner has to authorize the post before it can show up though. Option number two is to allow people to comment on posts. Unlike most other blog platforms, there is no native commenting system in Tumblr. The owner of the Tumblr blog needs to set up a Discuss account by visiting Discuss.com. Click Sign Up and enter in your Tumblr URL and the name of your blog. The site short name is a unique identifier that's our main concern in setting this up for Tumblr. It needs to be all one word, no spaces. If you don't already have a Discuss account, you'll also have to create an administrator login underneath. Once you've gone past this screen, you can turn on any of Discuss's optional features. I'll just leave these at the default setting for now. Now back in the customized screen of my Tumblr blog, I'll need to go to the Appearance menu. Depending on what theme you have set up, you may have to scroll to the bottom of this menu to get to this. My theme doesn't have any options for this menu, so all I've got is a box to add my Discuss short name. I'll enter that and save it. Now when I go back to my blog, I can see a place noting how many comments my posts have gotten. If I look at the post itself and scroll to the bottom, you can see the box where my readers can add comments. Option number three is to allow people to reply to posts. Replies are a fairly new and fairly obscure feature in Tumblr. In order to turn this feature on, the owner of the blog needs to check one of the available options in the community menu on the customized screen. Once these options are turned on, anyone who meets these requirements can reply to posts from Dashboard. This feature is only available in Dashboard and not from the blog itself. When you do submit your reply, it will appear in the notes of the post. Thanks for watching. As always, you can view this video or any of my other technology learning videos for free at ThoughtShots.com, where you can also find a full transcript of this video, as well as show notes and related web links.